the new Norwegian research vessel, Dr. Fritjof Nansen, that flies the UN flag, has finally berthed at the Tema Harbor. The research vessel is in Ghana to carry out scientific marine research on the fish stock of the country to support sustainable fisheries and study climate change impacts on the ocean. Welcoming the vessel, President Kufadu expressed worry at the level of fish stock depletion as well as pollution of the country's water bodies. He revealed that government will acquire its own vessel to carry out scientific research on the country's fish stock. Dr. of Nansen will conduct marine science research to support sustainable fisheries and study climate change impacts on oceans. The new Dr. Fridge of Nansen is one of the most advanced marine vessels sailing today and the only research ship on the globe that flies the UN flag. Its mission is to investigate some of the planet's least explored oceans using cutting-edge technology and sophisticated equipment to help developing countries assemble scientific data critical to sustainable fisheries management. The new Dr. Fridge of Nansen houses seven different laboratories packed with high-tech gadgetry, which includes new generation acoustic gear for biomass assessment and ocean floor mapping, a remote underwater vehicle control center, manta trolls that collect plankton and microscopic plastic particles, and a laboratory specifically designed for climate studies. Dr. Fridjof Nansen is able to sail freely across different jurisdictional boundaries and fettered in its pursuit of natural resource challenges that transcend borders. According to operators, the new vessel allows countries to improve research and activities where marine observations are extremely limited and better understand the impact of climate change on aquatic ecosystems and oceans. The Ministry of Fisheries say Ghana's fish stock is dwindling and research indicates that the country is fast losing its sardine stock and the need to conduct a scientific research to see how best to shore up the depletion. We are witnessing the new Norwegian research vessel offering another opportunity for scientists and managers in the sub-region to learn and understand better the dynamics of fish populations in an ever-changing regime. The country representative of the Food and Agriculture Organization in Ghana, Dr. Abibi Hill Gabriel, said the new vessel will help developing countries to improve on their fish stock. The Norwegian ambassador to Ghana, Mr. Ghana Andreas Holm, said with an improved scientific methods, countries can make billions of dollars from fish exports. 12 billion US dollars annually from renewable resources that will continue to provide values if the resources are managed in a sound and sustainable manner. On the other hand, if mismanaged, the same marine resources can be depleted in a few decades. President Kufuado said, Government has undertaken a number of measures to protect the country's fish stock. Government intends to acquire its own research vessel to help in the monitoring of our fish stock. Illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing methods are depleting our fish stock. Our beautiful coastal wetlands are threatened by high volumes of plastic and metal waste the fake breeding habits for fish. This must not be allowed to continue. To this end, the interministerial approach to curb this menace is of the pipe. Together, we can protect endangered species, achieve food security, and protect our ocean for the future. The research vessel is expected to carry out scientific research on the coastal lines of the country to assess the level of fish stock in Ghana.